All right, we're back for episode three of Father and Son Talk here. Um, Jeff Dens, I'm here with Forrest Dens, who seems to have the hiccups. Kind of. Yeah, that's not a good way to start the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a long one. How are you doing this morning? Good. Good. I just woke Forrest up, so <laughs> this is going to be the morning uh, yeah. father-son talk. So what's going on today? How are you feeling? Um, besides tired, not much. Good, good. So, uh, I don't know. Do you want to get into your question from yesterday? Oh, yeah. Why did you grow your beard? Well, I kind of always grew a training beard in between, like, contests. Like, I just let it grow, and then I'd shave it. And then, uh, during, while it was growing, uh, Professor Chuck actually named me the caveman. And I kind of liked it, and you know, cavemen are pretty hairy, and they have a beard, so I ended up kind of leaving it. And I don't really like my butt chin, because I got like a butt chin. <laughs> uh, it looks like there's a big butt on my face, so I don't really like it. And I look really young when I shave my, my beard. Actually, it was a funny story. Uh, when I came to pick you up the day I shaved it, when I took the police exam, and I failed because I was crazy, uh, <laughs> I knocked on the door, and I was like... And then... Uh, Forrest opened the door, he took a look at me, and he slammed it on my face. Do you remember that? Kind of. I what? mean, yeah, kind of. Why'd you slam the door on me, dude? What the hell? I couldn't tell. You couldn't tell it was me? Yeah. That's how different I look without a beard. I look stupid without a beard, right? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. That's why I grew a beard, because I'm ugly, dude. So the more my face I cover up, the less ugly I look. It's a trick. Okay. Yeah. So if you ever get ugly, just grow a beard. <laughs> got anything else? I didn't come up with any other questions. You didn't come up with any other questions this whole time? I came up with two. And, like, I came up with one, like, right on the fly yesterday. Yeah, that's pretty good. I, you know, I think a straight-A student should be able to hold a conversation with his father. What do you think about housework? I hate it. <laughs> How much housework do you do? Not a lot. Right. When I was your age, dude, I had to cut the grass, I dusted, I vacuumed, and I had to keep my room clean. <laughs> Jeez. Like for the whole house, not just my room. You know, I dusted the whole house. <laughs> I vacuumed the whole... Sorry about that. That's my computer sounds on. I dusted the whole room. I vacuumed the whole room. Um, I had to do all that stuff. That's a lot. Yeah. I got allowance. I got five bucks a week. That's not a lot. <laughs> Actually, a lot. It was a lot back then. Because it was, it was probably like 10 bucks a week now. Uh -huh. Actually, maybe a little bit more. I'm not sure. I'm not so good with money. Forces yawning one more time. <laughs> Nothing but yawns all day long. What do you think about doing more housework around the house? I'm dreading the idea. I think you should because it's part of growing up and it's time that you have a little bit of responsibility because uh, I'm actually, like, I come home and all your stuff is just laid out on the floor in the living room. Well, that's because I'm doing my homework. Well, why don't we clean the table and then you can do it on the table <laughs> or you can come up here in this room and do it on the desk in here. Um, it's really not the dog's fault when you have your homework sprayed all the way across all the living room and he walks by and he steps all over your homework. That's kind of your bad. Forrest, like, I hate this podcast. <laughs> so the first thing I would like you to do is start cleaning up after yourself. Okay? Yeah. That's our goal for this month. Is that okay. you're going to clean up after yourself. You're not going to... I'm not going to clean. And then you're going to just <laughs> blizzard over everything I just cleaned. All right? Wait, wait what? When you... Uh, when I clean up the whole room, I, you, like, uh, come in and... I'm, tornado's probably a better word than blizzard, but we're in Buffalo, so I use blizzard. Um, when you come in, uh, like, the other day, I just cl totally cleaned that whole uh, uh, living room. Then you came in and, like, your stuff is all over the floor. There's water bottles on the floor. There's <laughs> all kinds of stuff. So, I would like you to clean up after yourself is what I'm saying. Okay. All right? Yeah. And then I'm going to start teaching you how to do some stuff so you're going to help out. You already know how to do the laundry. You do a good job with the laundry with mom. Um, I haven't done it in a long time. Yeah? 
All right. Well, we got some Tide Pods now that we're not going to eat this time. We're going to uh, put them in the washing machine. Would you ever eat a Tide Pod? No. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for those people that think the upcoming generation is wasted, Forrest will not eat a Tide Pod. Would you try one if I told you to? No. I think you should try one. They look yummy. (laughs) Peer pressure at its finest. Speaking of stuff you're not going to eat or drink, do you think you're ever going to drink alcohol? Um, no. I don't drink alcohol myself, so Forrest, um, I don't know, Forrest has that example of me not drinking, right? Yeah. Is that why, or why would you not drink? Um, well, I know it's not healthy for you, and it's not addictive, but if, like, some people, like, if you, if you really like anything, you're going to have multiple of it, or try to have multiple of it, and having multiple drinks usually isn't good for your body, or for your or for being um, completely mentally sharp and somewhere. <laughs> mentally sharp, huh? How many drunk people have you seen? Oh, I remember the ones at the UFC. Yeah? That we, yeah. Sitting behind us? That was that funny. That was ridiculous. Yeah, those dudes were yelling some awful things about the women fighters. What do you think about girls? I don't know. Are you ready to date? No. You're not ready to date? No. Why not? You're a handsome young man. Because I'm in sixth grade. Sixth grade? That's about time you start dating. What? That's about the time you start dating. That's crazy. What do you mean? Who dates somebody in sixth grade? You're still kind of like a kid who's not even independent. That's true. You can't even drive. Well, in my day, we called it dating, but it wasn't like dating, you know, like, where you see it today, they people just hang out, maybe sneak kisses. <laughs> Your friends are trying to pick up girls at the dances, correct? Take them to the dances. Yeah, that's kind of like dating. What? That's like a, if you take a girl to a dance, that's kind of a date. I guess. I Most of the time it never happens, though, because wouldn't that be kind of weird? Unless you, unless the parents knew each other first. I don't know. I don't think my parents knew too many of my girlfriends before I started dating them. I don't think my parents knew any of my girlfriends before I started dating them. Because my, uh, my mom and my dad didn't live together, so. Oh, well, yeah. My parents both definitely didn't know, and I would date girls before my mom had them. <laughs> I didn't start dating until late in life anyway, so. I didn't start dating until, what, ninth grade, I think? Well, I... <laughs> I think the best thing to do, like, I think the best time is when you can drive because then you don't have to, well, today, I mean, nobody walks anywhere. Um, And usually stuff is farther away now. Because your generation is soft. Back in my day, we walked to school six miles uphill both ways in the snow. I really did walk to school a lot back in the day. Six mi- six miles? No, really, it's like 1.2, 3 miles or something to the school. Yeah. Well, there's no, there's nothing really here, around here at least. Cause there's all kinds of stuff around here. You're like, you could walk to the zoo, you could walk to your school. I used to walk home from work. I would get lost going to the zoo. <laughs> Dude, just one way, you just go down to Starin, you go, <laughs> never mind. Jeez, people are going to be able to tell where we live if I give you directions to the zoo, but it's really easy to find. There's two, one, two, three turns and you'll be there. Oh, the heat came on. I like the heat. Nice and warm. (laughs) All right, I guess we'll, uh, maybe we'll do the girl talk tomorrow. Forrest is uh, ashamed. He's hiding out. I can't even see him. All right. That's going to be it. We're going to cut this one a little bit short. We got stuff to do today. That's why we're doing this one early. Uh, Forrest, go brush your teeth. Go get dressed. Let's get it going. All right? Love you, man. (laughs) Love you, too. Bye.